Hello, it is I. Now, in Forza Horizon 5, a lot of the cars have customization parts in common. For example, most stadium cars have wide body kits, a lot of off-roaders have tire profile customization, and all classic cars have the option to put on white walls. But there are also some really cool modifications which are unique to just one car in the game. Well, that's what I'll be covering today, so let us try to hit 4,000 likes on today's video if you're mum. Yeah, well, this is awkward. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this video. Now, everybody knows that in Forza, you cannot paint the black plastic bits off cars. But there's one car where that's an exception. Because on the C8 Corvette, if I was to apply a vinyl, then look at that, you can actually paint the, like, plastic bits a bit. But on the rear bumper, yeah, look at this, okay, if I'm going to apply a vinyl, then, as you can see, you can actually paint the plastic bits. That is so cool. Look at that, the honeycomb is actually painted white as well. That is so cool. So with this car, I could just basically create a full white car. I mean, just look at that. That is so crazy. And now your boy is driving an all-white C8 Corvette. How amazing is this honestly this needs to be available on every single car in the game imagine if you can paint the vents on every car that would be so cool so yep for to do that please and i would like that very much now in Forza Horizon 5, we of course get wide body kits that are made by Forza themselves. We see this on the Ford Focus RS, the Wheeling Sunshine, the Audi RS7, the Jaguar F-Type, and the Cadillac ATS-V, I, I think it's called that. And you know, this is really cool, but I personally think that these body kits are way too over the top. And the RX7 Savannah is also a car with a wide body kit, and if you take a look at this one... Look at how subtle it is. It's so good. They literally just extend the arches and then mold it onto the bodywork and it looks so clean, man. Now, Forza are adding similar wide body kits to this in the new Forza Motorsport game, which is fantastic. So yeah, but I really hope that we do see more molded wide body kits in Forza Horizon 6 because, I mean, just look at it. It's so clean, man. Now, typically, as we all know, Forza wings are really, really bad looking. I'm gonna take a look on this 911 GT3 RS. Look at the Forza wing. What the f is that? However, on the 996 GT3, look at the Forza wing. Honestly, I feel like the legs were the biggest problem about the Forza Aero because it just made the wing look so cheap, but this genuinely looks pretty good. I mean, people with R33 GTRs have a similar wing system where they use the stock legs but with an aftermarket wing, and it looks so clean. So yeah, I, mean, I really hope that Forza do update the Forza wing so that it uses a similar system to this because this just looks so much better. I mean, just look at it, man. It looks so, so good. It looks so beautiful. It's Peng. It's Leng. <laughs> Now, whenever you install a roll cage into a car, it's always this boring, silver, unpainted, stupid colour. And yeah, man, this is a problem on every single car in Forza Horizon 5, except for one. Because on the BMW M4 GTS, if I install a roll cage, have a look at this. Yep, the roll cage is orange to match the wheel accents, to match the splitter accents, to match the everything, man. And yeah, man, now your boy is driving with a painted roll cage. And it, look, I mean, I'm not a fan of the orange roll cage, to be honest. I'd much rather have it in, like, black or red or yellow. Because orange is such a strange colour. Now, in Forza Horizon 5, you can never change the exhaust placement of a car. I mean, if you take a look at this car, exhaust on the right, exhaust on the right, exhaust on the right, exhaust on the right, you cannot change the exhaust placement. Same thing here, exhaust on the left, exhaust on the left, exhaust on the left, you cannot do anything. But there is one car in Forza Horizon 5 where you can actually change the exhaust placement. Because as you can see, the car as standard has dual exit exhaust tips, but with a Volkswagen bumper, it has quad tips, but it's still in the same placement, it's like on the left and the right. But with the apt kit, you yeah, have a look at this. It's a single exit exhaust tip through the middle, which I'm not gonna lie, looks very weird. I've never really understood single exit exhaust tips through the middle, but how cool is that? You can literally change the exhaust placement on this car. Okay, now I know what you guys are all thinking. Light customization in Forza Horizon 5. What are you 
talking about? There's no light customization in Forza Horizon 5. What are you on about? Well, there is, okay? There is light customization. And the FD RX7 actually has quite a lot of customization with the headlights and taillights. Because as you may know, the RX7 comes with these pop up headlights on the front and these tinted taillights on the rear. But if you go to the Wide Bunny Kit and install a Rocket Bunny Kit, not this one, but this one, look at the headlights. Oh, and also, if you install the Last Body Kit, look at the headlights here. And finally, if you install the KRC Japan Wide Bunny Kit, look at the headlights, they are gone. And also, with this Wide Bunny Kit, if you look at the rear bumper, look at the taillights. Okay, now, yes, I know the Mark V Supra also sort of comes with headlight and taillight customization, as you can see, but this is nothing compared to the RX-7, so RX-7, well done, you have the most light customization. Who would have thought light customization in Forza? I'm in Forza Horizon 5 and basically every Forza game, you cannot debadge the main badge of any car in the game. I'm mean, on the R34 GTR, look how many bumpers there are, but look at this, still the GTR badge, still the GTR badge, still the GTR badge, still the GTR, oh, I was not expecting that, anyways, uh, ignore that yet, yeah. ugly bumper anyways. Anyways, on the Mitsubishi Evo 10, as you can see, it has the Mitsubishi stars, but with the Charge bumper, as you can see, the main badge is debadged, and with a Varus bumper, look at that, it basically looks like the stock bumper but debadged with canards and an exposed intercooler. And yeah man, this genuinely feels like you've actually debadged your car, which is brilliant. Okay, now as you saw with the R34 GTR, it turns out that you can actually debadge more cars, it's not just the Evo 10. But the Evo 10 is the only car where you can debadge the car and it still looks like it's wearing its front bumper, if you get what I mean. So yeah, this isn't really a unique customization feature, but it's a cool one in my opinion. Now, everybody wants interior customization in Forza Horizon 5, but what if I told you that it was already here? Anyways, on the RS4, which I'm driving right now, as you can see, the car is green. And if I were to step inside this car, then as you can see, the trim around the steering wheel is also green. And the climate control system dials are also green as well. The same green as the car, which is brilliant. But what if I were to paint this car a special color? Maybe a pattern? Maybe something like wood? What about a wooden RS4, yeah? Now, if I step inside the car, have a look at the wood trim on the steering wheel and the climate control. This is amazing. How brilliant is this? You can literally change the interior color of the RS4. This is, oh my days, I love it. Now in Forza Horizon 5, you get two different types of splitters. First of all, we get these like muscle car splitters, which are kind of like a chin lip spoiler thing. And of course, we also get these racing star splitters, which look so bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but the tow hook, what is it? What? Why are you there? Honestly, this Forza Aero without the tow hook would look pretty good. But at the moment, it doesn't look good because stupid tow hook. But what if I were to tell you that you can actually remove the tow hook from the Forza Aero? Well, surprisingly, you can, kind of, because on one car, you can actually install the Forza Aero without a tow hook. Because on the Lotus Avia, if you install the Forza Aero, then look at that. Look how good it looks. Where is the tow hook? It is nowhere. Honestly, this car genuinely looks good with Forza Aero. I mean, just look at it. Get rid of the tow hook, Forza. Just get rid of it. In Forza Horizon 5, you can actually change the exhaust tip on some cars by changing the bumper. Well, believe it or not, in Forza, there is one car where you can actually do this, where you can keep the stock bumper, but modify the exhaust tip. And that car is the Supra, because look at the exhaust tip here. As you can see, the exhaust tip is very small and puny, but with the aftermarket bumpers, the exhaust tip is bigger. But what if you want the stock bumper with this exhaust tip? Well, you go to the middle option and look at that. Honestly, it looks so cool. This should be available on basically every single car in the game. Because look at this R33 GTR, yeah? Look at the exhaust tip with the stock bumper, and then with this bumper, it's still like, what? The, the exhaust tip is not changing. What do you mean? So yeah, man, custom exhaust tips has to be a thing in the next game, because on the Supra, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> 